You're gonna edit this, right? I mean, you. No, it, you can't. Okay. You okay. can't edit it. It's digital. It doesn't. Uh, you know, once the film is shot, then we just put it. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. Deal. Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast: Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. <laughs> so, Drupal Camp, London, 2015, is wrapping up. I'm with Piyush Podda from Jaipur in India. And you're part of a company called Accelerant. That's right. And you do a lot of Drupal there. Do you do anything else? Uh, we do a lot of Drupal. We also do a bit of Ruby on Rails. That's just for some in-house uh, tools we, we consume. So is Drupal your first open source software? Me personally? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I did a couple of Joomla projects when I started. And then I came across Drupal, and I said, oh my god, I just wasted my couple of months back there. But it was good fun, because uh, once I discovered Drupal, it really helped me do things faster, way faster than I would have done in core PHP. So, and how did you discover Drupal? What's that first Drupal memory? Open Source Camp, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. I'm here for the first time. I'm checking out open source, and uh, a, a guy called Mir Nazim comes on the stage and he talks about Drupal, and I said, wow, that was my first Drupal memory. And how long was it before you dove into your first project? Um, close to three months. What version of Drupal was that? <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I think that was uh, five, 5.7? How has Drupal changed between when you started in Drupal 5 and now? Dramatically. It, I mean, the interface has changed. The, the community has you know, gone from this to boom. Um, I mean, it's, it's really has, it really has become a business-ready solution and you know, allow us who are you know, running businesses or, or you know, selling solutions to clients to really not think about anything more, but just go ahead and use it for production sites, large, huge production sites. Then, back then, it was like, I mean, it looks cool, but can, can we really go one of those projects on Drupal? Can we take it to production? There were questions. Now, I mean, how do we get more projects? How do we, you know, grow more big? I mean, the platform is like, we're only utilizing 10% of this platform. What was your background uh, before, before working with Joomla and Drupal? So, uh, I started my... Uh, coding uh, experience from 1997, FoxPros, DBase123, WordStars, and a bit of C. Awesome. FoxPro for the win. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Can you uh, compare working in the proprietary world to being an open source businessman? Uh, yes, I've, I've, I've done both. And uh, I mean, we used to buy books. Expensive books when we used to work on one of those technologies, which I probably should not name, and just to know how to do things the right way. And then we realized that it doesn't tell you how to do things the right way, it just tells you how to use the software. So, you know, the best practices, uh, how people are doing it, how other folk is doing it, lessons learned. I mean, there was nothing then, nothing to be shared, no platforms, no open source uh, cams, no events. Now it's like it's out there. It just depends on you what you want to grab. So the culture of sharing in open source was was absent. You have to sort of invent everything for yourself Absolutely. every time. Absolutely. And very often you would realize that uh, you, know, you invented it in probably the wrong way because you still were not able to check it with someone else who was doing it the right way. Hmm. Except maybe a couple of folks who were doing it in your local city. As such. Do you have a favorite Drupal module? Um, 
Views, definitely. Views, okay. Definitely. But in Drupal 8, it's not about you. I know, I know. But, but the journey that, that Views has, you know, the journey that we've taken with the help of Drupal uh, 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 Views is awesome. So, I mean, thank you, Views. For thank all you, this. thank you, Earl Miles. Thank you, Miles, absolutely. What's your favorite thing about Drupal? The community, of course, and the project together. Yeah, it's a powerful combination. Solid, rock solid. It's it's an awesome project without community. I, I don't know, uh, you know, if it was so useful. It's an awesome community without a project. What would we have been doing? <laughs> together, we are doing a wonderful job. Piyush, your director of Drupal practice. That's right. At Accelerant. That's right. Which is a distributed company in India. How many employees does Accelerant have? 40. 40. You gave a presentation at the Drupal Camp London yeah. CXO Day. That's right. That essentially was, um, in a way, uh, about your company, about Accelerant, but as, a, as an example of what's changing in India, in the software industry, in the developer market. That's right. And um, to be frank, uh, the journey from being cheap outsourced labor yep. to being, um, and I want to choose my words carefully, to being uh, stand standalone, valuable, contributing uh, players in the industry. And, 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 and I see a lot of companies getting there, and I, and I see Accelerant is certainly one of them. Talk about that journey. Talk about what India looked like five years ago and, and how you see things now and what Accelerant is doing. So I, I definitely did that presentation. Uh, it was not so much about Accelerant than it was about the India story, how my other, comp you know, other colleague companies, fellow folks out there are doing stuff, how things have changed from then to now. And you know, all of us are super excited about it. Uh, talking about 2010, but Drupal memories from India are probably even older than that. I think the first poster on Drupal.org dates back to 2006. Uh, but I would not really worry too much about those first three, four years because that was like, you know, it was too, too, too peaceful, not much happening. It was only when Dries came to India when a lot of excitement happened, a lot of traction came into the ecosystem. There were a lot of camps in the country. Uh, I imagine uh, going to one of those camps. I even imagined, uh, you know, this is what cons are like when it happened. But no, cons were like much bigger. Anyways, so the way Drupal started, Drupal was being seen as a, a job-based technology. So, you know, that looks good. You can get a job if you know Drupal. Two, job is fine. I mean, I can build my career on Drupal. Drupal is something I can do all my life because it's safe, it's secure, the ecosystem is matured, and uh, uh, it's got uh, acceptance by enterprises. It's it's a it's a very mature platform. That awareness was not there then. Perhaps even project was not so matured and evolved, but that awareness is there now. We were consuming Drupal then. Most of folks were like simply looking at Drupal as a job, a nine to five job. Go to the office, work on a Drupal project, come back, forget about it, because there's not much, nothing much that you can do. But now, companies and individuals have realized that it's not just using Drupal, not just consuming Drupal, but investing in the Drupal ecosystem locally and, in, and nationally, and perhaps internationally as well, is where the real value lies. And that's where, A, you're getting good karma. That's the Indian way of, you know. We, yeah. Yes. And, and B, besides that, it's, it's also about establishing your reputation, your, your stand, your maturity up in the marketplace. So organizations understood that over the years and they started, not all of them, but a lot of them have already started doing that. I would say the journey is still on. We still need to reach to a stage where we can say, oh yeah, I mean, we're there, all of us. But a lot of companies, 
You can imagine there, there are more than 20, 30, 40 companies participating in domestic camps in India. And I'm not talking about one camp. I'm talking about maybe three, four, five camps and maybe another six, seven meetups in different cities of the country with an average of you know, 300 to 700 people in each of these camps or meetups coming up and staying there for two days and sharing knowledge and experience only about Drupal. I've been seeing a lot of companies started to push their developers towards contribution, at times even during their day job. There are companies offering uh, uh, jobs with Drupal contribution to community as KPIs. Accelerant is one of, one of the companies as well. We encourage a lot of contribution in-house. We, uh, In fact, we ask our folks to uh, do a contribution the moment they are free, the moment they do not have project work. And if they're busy, they have a lot of project work, they still are requested or supposed to do some contribution every month. So almost like to the tune of 10 to 20%. Mm. And from a, a business profit and loss perspective, we are absolutely fine about that. That's a part of their KPI. If, if all they do is delivery, that's not good. We have, uh, we've got uh, uh, folks in our company who have been contributing a lot to the community. And uh, one of them, we've, we've asked them to not work with us or for us, but rather for the community. We'll pay you. Yeah, we have, so uh, we got inspired by a blog written by Dries on this. And uh, subsequently, a couple of conversations I had at DrupalCon earlier. And I took this idea back to the company, got encouraged by folks out there, and we have a, a, a sort of part-time community contributor on our roads. He's like one of the top guys in India on community. Uh, uh, he's done more than 100 patches, by the way, uh, two weeks back on Drupal 8. Nice. All this time. Who is that? That's Hussain, uh, in case uh, the name doesn't... Uh, uh, get recognized his his handle uh, Drupal nickname uh, Drupal ID is Hussein Webb. Hussein Webb. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping to have probably you know ten more Hussains by a couple of months or maybe you know a year or two for sure. We really encourage him to you know uh, mentor people inside and outside, share his story, and 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 educate them in terms of what value is contribution and community bringing apart from just the business aspect of Drupal. But let's, let's stick with the business aspect for a second. Right. You and other companies have moved from being pure consumers of cheap software. That's right. To contributing to its uh, health, maintenance, well-being. What is the business value that you get out of contributing back to Drupal? So a couple of them. A, being an IT company, Acquiring good talent and retaining them is probably more important than sales itself. There's a lot of business, a lot of leads, a lot of opportunity out there. You can just go grab them, but you have to deliver them and you have to do that constantly. And for that, you need team, you need folks, you need people, people who are excited about this thing, people who know this stuff, people who are experts. Hiring is a big problem. So two most important things we've done in order to solve this problem, A is getting onto Drupal, which is a uh, wonderful ecosystem, a wonderful community-based software. People love working in Drupal and people love working with companies who are so active in community. They feel that if we work with this company, they learn a um, hell more about how to contribute, how to be part of the community, how to become people like Hussain and, and, and lots of other people who are doing this stuff. So that's, that's one of the steps we took. And second was inherently the way we work. So we are a distributed company. So I don't need to have a single office and keep hunting for people in constraint to that geographic location. India is big, India is huge. If you travel from north to south, it may take probably three days, two nights, or maybe more. Being a distributed company, it really allows us to identify the right folks wherever they are, sitting, living, and just plug them into the system. So, retain, so acquiring becomes a very easy job for us, acquiring good talent. That's where Drupal comes in. And retaining them is also very easy because, you know, distributed culture gives you an awesome work-life balance. A great community, uh, community culture in the company allows you to do stuff that you want to do. 
And you would not like to do anything else. I mean, this is sort of a work you would like to do. This is the job that you would love. So people would prefer to work for a company that's giving back to open source. Absolutely. Do you notice? Uh, do you have? Do your clients care about that one so, way or another? Absolutely. So I was coming to that. Lately, what we've realized is a lot of clients, a lot of uh, uh, their RFQs, and you know, at times their filtering requirements are: how active are you in terms of contribution? How matured are you from that perspective? And uh, our Drupal profile, by the way, on Marketplace on Drupal.org has really helped us a lot for that. So we track uh, reference uh, uh, via traffic coming in from there and here, and at times talk to clients in terms of how do we, how did you come to know about us? And a lot of them tell us that our profile is really strong enough for them to build the first level of trust and give us the first few projects that they'd like to like us to work on. So. Uh, I cannot imagine this sort of uh, advantage in a, a possible proprietary company, a proprietary technology or a software, for sure. You know, my personal conclusion on that front is, in India we believe a lot in karma. And what we are seeing is that it's the karma we do is coming back to us already in sort of business, in sort of happiness, in sort of these awesome people that we're working with. It's happening, it's there. What should people in Europe and the Americas, in, in the West, what should we know about what's going on in open source and business in India right now? Um, we're doing a great job in open source. Um, lately, uh, there's a lot of traction happening even in the uh, public sector in India. I think um, the, uh, the judiciary system has mandated use of open source lately, which is huge, which is going to be big. Uh, I'm not really following uh, non-Drupal open source projects very closely and the way they are progressing over there, but uh, some of the conferences that take place on those fronts, they are really growing in terms of numbers and participations and their brand value. Uh, a lot of work is being done in South India. Uh, uh, some part of that is being done in North India as well. Drupal is uh, something which is happening across the country. So we have our, got our folks right from the top of the country, which is Srinagar to Bangalore, from east to west, from, uh, from Ahmedabad to uh, Kolkata. I'm just taking names of some of the cities. And we actually have got our folks plugged into various communities. So that's where we, we get lots of feedback, lots of things happening around. I would still say some of these cities are more mature than a lot of other cities. And that's where we are thinking about building some sort of a common community of India which would work together and balance resources, support and help push the community more stronger because I personally believe a lot of future business is going to come to India. We've already worked on some hugely important enterprise projects for various companies. I may not be able to take names of all of, all of them for a number of reasons, but uh, people in Drupal ecosystem already know about that. Some of them I did mention in the presentation day before yesterday at CXO Day. So uh, that's a, a great uh, 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 growth from what uh, India was in open source probably six years to today. So from consumer to contributor Absolutely. as a culture. Yep. Give us a shameless plug for Accelerant. We are an awesome uh, engineering focused IT company, primarily working on Drupal working with great, awesome clients and partners. We have uh, a very happy team of people who do their job very well. And we are looking forward to lots of partnerships and strategic uh, engagements. If you have something that you'd like to work with us, please come talk to me, talk to any of us folks. We are trying to make happiness possible. And so far, we've done it greatly. Links to them in the notes for this episode. What word best describes Drupal? Karmic. Karmic. Nice choice. We've never had that one before. Thank you so much for hiring a contributor to contribute. Thank you for doing so much great work. And thanks for, for, for taking the time to, to, to explain to me what, what's going on. It's really, it sounds like an incredibly positive, exciting time to, 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 be, to be in Drupal in, in India. It's really, really exciting. Very excited. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. All right.